come and say it boldly. It doesn't matter the oppression. They cannot rule over us. Sniffing life out of you. That want to intimidate you. By this service today. They shall be humbled. I'm not hearing that amen. Are you there with me? What is this that thou hast done unto us? And he said unto them, As they did unto me, so I have done unto them. Whosoever has caused any pain in your life, we release calamity to them. Hallelujah. Is somebody hearing me? There are certain people who take pleasure to see pleasure. It gives them joy. Celebrate it. And they say, God, don't catch up. Look at those disabled that we are running a race. Suddenly, one amongst them said and cry out. And every one of them stopped without considering the prize that they are about to win. And they turned back. We are not here as a brother, as a sister. We are meant to uphold each other. When you see your brother going through About 3,000 of them came. 3,000 of your We are come to bind you. We are come. Something. Shouldn't these 3,000 men fought against the enemy? But for the offense that he killed the Philippians, they all gathered. Jesus. Better shout amen. These are his father's that you will not burn, that you will not kill me by with your hand. Swear so that my blood will not be on your head. And they swore unto him. However, they delivered him. Glory to God. Is somebody there with me? The Bible says, and they spoke to him saying, no, but we will bind thee and deliver thee to the hands, but surely we will not kill thee. And they bound him with a two new cord to make sure that the old one, he will not break it. There are people who want to put seeds in your life that by no means you will not escape from it. But I come to let you know that the supernatural hand of God is upon you. Come on, I want you to speak that the supernatural hand of God is upon me. And when shouted, the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him. And the cord were upon his hands became as flex. That same new cord that should have bound him until they finished with him became like a wool. Whatsoever thing that has bound your business This morning.
morning. I command that stud to be broken in the name of Jesus. I'm not hearing that. Amen. The Bible says, and he found a new jawbone of an ass, and he put forth his hands and took it and slay a thousand men with it. And Samson said, with the jawbone of an ass, heaps upon heaps. With the jaw of an ass have I slain a thousand men. God is delivering a business job to you. That through that breaking forth, breakthrough, you shall experience breaking forth on every side. That business you are doing currently is a job bone. You shall break forth with it. That your business premises is your job bone. You will slay thousands upon thousands. Oh, I'm not hearing this, amen. With the job of an ass. Not in the natural. This morning, as your hands are lifted unto God, declare with this hands, Lord, I shall do exploit. Oh, I shall do exploit. Lord, starting from today, I am breaking forth in the name of Jesus. This morning, we have been on the first series. We are looking at this subject. Faith can change what you see. I want you to say to your neighbor, faith, I'm not hearing your voice, can change what you see. Where is that our beloved sister that gave a testimony? I was touched by her testimony about her birth. Her birth may seem like a sorrow. It's like somebody will be blaming himself why should I come to this world? God brought you into this world to show forth his glory. They regretted but their mother, their grandmother for that was looking beyond the present. Listen to me, child of God. Whatever thing you are going through, you must look above. May I say to you that where you are currently now is not your destination. There is a greater future. And today,
not a mistake. You are a miracle. Whatever thing you are going through presently is only a raw material.
somebody agree with me? When you have 5,000 men, multiply every one of them with their household. Jesus saw the multitude. He asked every one of them to sit down. So that you won't be seeing that when you are looking at everybody sitting together, you are seeing one single head. Today, whatever thing you have been seeing as a threat to your life, faith tells you that you can change them. Come on, say, I can change them. Paul said, look at us. Live that lifestyle you have been expecting, what you have been experiencing. There are breakthroughs. There are miracles. And this is your time to encounter them. If you believe them, shout a big amen. Everything in life is subject to change, particularly what you see. Everything. There is no situation in life that is not subject to change. A lot of people before this time, once they are diagnosed of any ailment, they are gripped by fear. Fear takes over their life. All that they are seeing is that same fear of what will kill them. They no longer look unto God to know that what kills others cannot kill them. That what stops others cannot stop them. God is too faithful to fail. Listen to me, child of God. Stop looking at where you have been, our father said. Start looking at where you are going. Where you have been, there are sorrows. Where you are being, there are troubles of life. But where you are going, there's prospect. Whatsoever you see today is subject to change. That you are living in an uncompleted house, it is subject to change. God has just put you there so that you can see how the foundations are laid. 